All right, what's up, y'all? It's currently 7.26 in the morning. Thought I might take y'all through a, a training day that I got today. If y'all didn't know, I'm, uh, I'm in prep for United States Nationals Strongman Competition. Biggest competition they put on. Uh, all their strongest guys go up there and hash it out to find out who's the strongest. So I've got, I think, 10 weeks until, until that happens. But I live down here in a little little podunk town in Missouri, in rural Missouri, and uh, we ain't got a we ain't got a proper gym to uh, to get ready for a, a competition like that. So I've got to drive hour hour and ten minutes in order to go up to a gym and get my hands on the equipment that's gonna be used in the competition. But I know y'all wondering what I'm doing. We cooking breakfast before we go. That's what we doing. I ain't fitting to go up there and be all hungry. I don't know how some of y'all might do it, but I do not lift weights on an empty stomach and just ain't happening. Feel very tired, very sluggish, very weak. I'm just throwing me some scrambled eggs in here. We're gonna eat this. Maybe throw a little ketchup on there. You know, a little hot sauce. I don't know yet. We just gonna get fueled up. Drink our coffee. Got the coffee made. Got the water already made for for uh, when we head up there. Anyways, I'm gonna get this on. You just come with me. You just come with me. There are my plates. Oh, there are my kids' plates. Y'all just hang tight. Go. Got them eggs on there. Like I said, we got the coffee. Yeah, we drink it black. We don't want no creamer, no sugar, no bull crap in there. I don't know how y'all feel about ketchup on your on your eggs, but I'm gonna eat some ketchup on my eggs. sauce right before we go train so in case y'all was wondering bam there it is i'll see y'all down the road okay we on the road we are headed to Rise Performance Gym. I didn't even mention it's it's an hour, it's an hour and ten minutes away from where I live. But I actually I gotta leave the state. I live in Missouri, you know, one of the lands of freedom, the free one of these freedom states, and I gotta go to the communist state of Illinois to go to a good strongman gym. Huh. Well, I'm, I know I'm hard on them. I'm hard on them. Hey, there's good people there. They just, I know what it is. 
Chicago runs the whole state's politics. That's the only problem. But hey, enough said. I like the people. I like this gym. Good folks. Still a communist state. But anyways, we headed up there to Rise Performance Gym in Illinois. I brought my pre-workout. That's my black coffee, by the way. I don't do pre-workout. It's black coffee. And when I get through with my workout, I do have a hit of uh, whey protein here. And then over there, just brought me a Gatorade. Got the extra salt, electrolytes, a protein bar, and half a gallon of water. And those two little water bottles there is from a protein shake after uh, after the workout. But anyways, I just hopped on the interstate, and I've got about an hour, hour and ten, and I will be at the gym. So we'll see y'all there. All right, we're here at the gym. Uh, first exercise of the day is a seated good mornings. I've got four sets of eight on these. Use them for getting primed. The main thing today is deadlift, stone to shoulder. Got some grip work at the end, but uh, I do four sets of eight of these. Increase the weight every set. I ended up going to 225 there for the last set of eight. Like I said, just use them for getting primed, getting the core primed, getting the glutes, uh, just kind of getting everything firing. Very good exercise. Uh, didn't do these until I hired a coach. Uh, coach prescribed them, and there I go. Start doing them. Uh, dumbbell RDLs for the next exercise. Four sets of 10 on these, uh, doing the 100-pound dumbbells. It's pretty easy rep work. I'm trying not to burn myself out. I've got deadlifts next. I'm using these to get primed, get the hips through, move fast, just uh, get up a, a decent little sweat. Now here's the main work. Uh, I had four sets of one at 90%. It's 565 pounds. The last set here that you'll see, I, I did a hitch because I'm gonna end up hitching on a max deadlift, which is what I've got at the competition. One of the main reasons I have come to this gym is the stones. There's the stones right here. It's a 275 pound stone. That's what I've got to do with the competition. It's a, it's going to be a max reps in 60 seconds. I've got a three sets of three is what I had to do today for a stone to shoulder. And uh, got all three reps there with the 275 stone. Uh, second set didn't make it, but third set come back with a vengeance. Actually ended up doing a 300 pound stone for the first rep and then ended the last two reps with a 275 stone. So uh, that's going good. Let's see what the 275 stone actually weighs. <laughs> See if we can get it on there. Oh, there we go. Okay. It was 274.4. Last thing for today is uh, I had four sets timed. It's one of the events at the at the comp that I'm doing. It's a farmer's hold. I'm doing 237 pounds per hand right there. I've got to do 250 at the competition. This is the uh, the fourth set. It's the set that I held the weight the longest. I think I held it here for a minute and four seconds. The uh, the national record uh, is 250 pounds. I think for a minute and seven seconds. So I should be, I should be getting, I think I can pass that. Yeah, I think I can pass that. It's going to be a, it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a battle. 
depending on the day there, but I think I can pass that. But this is a farmer's hold for time. Uh, max time. You go until you drop it, until you put it down. So it's a grinder for sure. I am done with the training. Coming out to the truck, putting everything up. Let's show y'all the back of my truck here. I told y'all my gym there and uh, where I live ain't got the equipment I need, so I've started uh, I've started buying some of my own. I got I got a little garage gym set up at the house, and I carry some in the back of my truck to take to the gym that I that I go to. See, I got the got some weights. They ain't got big enough dumbbells, so bought the handles. Got some farmers handles in there. Just got a little single cab truck, so this is my back seat. So, and the guy over there mowing, he's being loud. You hear him. See, we're about to get out of here. We're about to head. I don't know if we're going to head straight home or we may, we may have to stop off get a bite to eat something like that but anyways workout took just just over two hours so not too bad like I said I come up here to uh, in Illinois the gym's called rise performance uh, very very nice gym I haven't even uh, touched none of the uh, bodybuilding stuff in there which I'm not doing uh I'm not really doing bodybuilding. Uh, I just went through a whole off season and uh, got through that down where I live with the uh, the bodybuilding kind of side of it, and some machine work and just uh, you know just your normal rep work. But as I'm getting closer to the competition that I'm uh, training for, uh, we got like a the stone to shoulder uh, event. And uh, I ain't got no stones where I live. They got stones here, you know. Uh, I got to come up here and get my hands on the equipment that I'm going to be using in the competition because that's just going to make me that much more familiar with it. It's going to make me better. And uh, it's, it's a whole lot different, you know, putting a, a stone up to your shoulder than it is a sandbag. You, you got to get familiar with the movement that you're that you're doing so anyways that that is the uh the workout the training for the day i've got a uh, rest tomorrow rest the next day and then uh next day will be monday and i'm just waiting on my coach to uh download the rest of my training and uh we'll see what he programs and what he programs i will do because that's the way it works He's, uh, he has done what I'm trying to do in the sport. Actually, he's done more than I even have thought about doing in the sport. He's achieved America's Strongest Man in the, the 231 weight class. So that's not even on my radar. Uh, not to say that I won't uh, end up doing good at this competition and keep building and maybe see that down the road, but it's... All I've got on my radar right now is I'm doing I'm doing USS Nationals in the 220 pound weight class. And I would love, love to win that show. Uh, I've, uh, I've done four, I've done four uh, just local, local shows and I've won two of them, got second in two of them. People seem to, uh, acknowledge or at least think that I've got a little bit of talent maybe natural talent in the sport of strong man because I just kind of uh I just kind of showed up one day I, I got Instagram one day I just kind of showed up and uh decided to do a comp showed up and done the comp done extremely well uh and then I uh, do another comp and uh I won it and you just you meet people and they're like you know where'd you come from you know where and it's like so I'm not sure where I actually stack up, especially when you get up there to that national level where everybody 
is everybody's good that's going to be there uh they wouldn't be going so i'd like to just see where i'm going to stack up at this uh, national competition and that's why i'm going uh, to kind of see where i'm at i've been in this sport for just over a year and uh, that's no time that's no time i just hired a coach i think six months ago uh, i've always done all my training by myself and I can tell the difference since hiring a coach. Uh, I don't like uh, putting my training into uh, another person's hands. I don't like doing the, some of the things that he programs or, you know, and having to make it work, especially like where I live and the accessibility to equipment, having to drive an hour, you know, to get my hands on equipment with gas at $4 a gallon. But I've got a goal, and it's to go up there to Nationals to see what I can do. And to achieve that goal, I'm going to do what it takes for the time being. Like I said, there's 10 more weeks. If i got to drive up here once, twice a week, so be it. Uh, it's not for the rest of my life. It's for the next 10 weeks. I'm going to do what it takes, and then I'm going to get up there to New Hampshire to the competition, do the best that I can possibly do, and I'm going to see where the cards fall. And hopefully, as new as I am in the sport and uh, just getting started, hopefully I'm uh, pretty far along, pretty strong compared to a lot of the other guys. And uh, who knows, maybe it'll light a fire. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll decide to do this for another three, four, five years and try to progress into the uh, America's strongest man. And just see where I can take it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching the video and, uh, we'll catch you later.